There are a few types of point hotspots, and each of them have different functions. So in this tutorial, I'll go over the URL, image, and info hotspots. To add a hotspot, change the viewer mode to point hotspot mode by selecting it here, or by simply hitting P on the keyboard. Then double click in the viewer to add the hotspot. And you can also add hotspots just by dragging the source onto the viewer. So the first hotspot I'll add is this URL. And I'll just drag it right over here. The hotspot is active and the properties for it are opened and Panatuvr also recognizes the type of hotspot. Adding a title will apply the tooltip. This is the text that appears when the mouse hovers over the hotspot. The URL was automatically added, but keep in mind that it needs to be absolute. For the target, you can choose how the page will open. If you leave this option blank, Panatuvr will use underscore blank, which opens the page in a new window or tab. And before I go on, there's one property here to check out, and that's the skin ID. For each hotspot type, you'll see the skin ID pre-populated. It identifies the hotspot template used in the skin. Our built-in skins have hotspot templates for each hotspot type, and the skin ID correlates to the template's ID. And this is what provides the icon in the skin. Now I'll add another hotspot, but this time the source will be an image. When I drag the image in, Pan2VR will recognize that it's an image and also selects the appropriate skin ID so it uses the image icon provided in the skin. I'll add a title so it has a tooltip. And for the link target URL, the image's location was automatically added to this field and it'll also be copied to the output folder. And if you don't drag the image in, just click this folder to add it. And finally, for this project, I'll add an information hotspot. I'll double click in the viewer to add it. Then I'll select info as the type. Then I'll add a title. And since this hotspot is for giving information, I'll add to the description field. And that's it for this project. So let's see how this looks when it's outputted. Here's the HTML5 output with the built-in silhouette skin, so each of the hotspots have icons for their type. Here's the URL hotspot that opens a website, the image hotspot that opens the image I've added, and the info hotspot that includes a short description.